Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Amy uses Splitting Image to copy her Delver of Secrets. If she reveals an instant for its ability next turn, what happens? Okay, so if you've been around for a while, you might already have an idea of where this is going. See, up until this set, we used to have this rule that said that only transforming double-faced cards could transform, not tokens. Now that we have incubator tokens though, well, they obviously had to change those rules. So indeed, they actually did change these rules in such a way as it changes the answer to this question. Now, both transforming double-faced cards and transforming double-faced tokens can transform. So how do you get a transforming double-faced token? Well, in effect, can just create a token that can transform. This is how incubators function, because they're specifically defined in the rules as being transforming double-faced tokens. The other way is to copy something. If you copy something that is a transforming double-faced card, then the token will copy both faces of that card and become a transforming double-faced token itself. Applying that to the situation presented in the original problem statement, we can say that the token copy of Delver of Secrets will transform into an insectile aberration, just like if it was a normal Delver of Secrets. Awesome! Now let's take a look at some variants on this situation. Maybe you're wondering what would happen if you cloned a Delver of Secrets. Well, the new rule says that you can only transform if you are a transforming double-faced card or token. Clone is neither of those things, so it still can't transform. Okay, well, that's a bummer. But what if we played a spitting image and made a copy of that clone? Could the spitting image token transform? And again, the answer is no. To become a transforming double-faced token, you would need to be copying a transforming double-faced permanent, which clone still is not. So unfortunately, this token will not be able to transform either. Finally, let's note something that only transforming double-faced cards and tokens can transform. So for example, Glasspool Mimic is a modal double-faced card, not a transforming one. So if it copied a Delver of Secrets, then it could not transform. One last note that's probably not super duper intuitive. Under normal circumstances, the back face of a double-faced card doesn't have a mana cost, right? And it still does have a mana value though. It's calculated according to the mana cost that the front face has. Now, you might think that if you copied an insectile aberration, the copy would also have a mana value of 1, but it turns out that's not quite right. If you take a look at this rule here, it says that a copy of the back face of a transforming double-faced permanent is defined to have a mana value of 0, even if the thing that the copy is happens to be a double-faced permanent itself. Pretty weird, right? But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.